Hello everyone, this is the second part of my Lisbon series. This is a place where I spent over a month. Today, I'm going to take you out like a tourist and cover a lot of different places by walking as well as hop on hop off bus tour. We'll be covering the Praca de Figueira, Santa Justa Lift, Commerce Square, 25th April Bridge, Ajuda Palace, Geronimus Monastery, and much, much more. So let's hop on to explore. So our first destination is Praca de Figueira. This is a large square in the center of Lisbon. In the center of the square, there is a statue of King John I. He ruled Portugal between 1385 and 1483. Well, let's check out some local shops. Nice music. I think this is mostly like handicraft, jewelry, painting, some art stuff. Mostly jewelry and then bags and shawls, some caps. All right. Walking around, I figured that that's the famous elevator. Santa Justa Lift. It connects the upper part and the lower part of the town and is a very famous spot where everybody visits if they come to Lisbon. So yeah, where it connects is on the top you can take the elevator and then maybe walk straight or something like that. Looks like this was uh, supposed to be a ticket dispenser. You can take the elevator to go on the top and watch the amazing view of the city of Lisbon. The sky looks bright and the sunlight enhances the beauty of this amazing city of Lisbon. Just walking around in the city in Lisbon, Lisboa, as they call it. Let me show you guys something very interesting. There's some music playing. Very, very cool and very interesting. Looks like the sun's come out now, so we go put the glasses. The city is buzzing. The tourists. Okay. Is the gate that was built after the fact? We're gonna pass through that and then we're gonna get to the Commerce Square. All right. And we are getting closer to the gate. Commerce Square is a large harbor facing plaza in Portugal's capital. The grand statue in the center of Praca de Comercio is of the King Jose I, and his horse is symbolically crushing snakes with his hoofs. There are some shops here that sell the, the ticket for Hop on Hop Off. So I'm going to try to get on this Hop on Hop Off bus. Hop on, hop off bus. So we are going to get our journey started. So we've got some good views of the bridge. 25 the April Bridge. It's the bridge connecting the city of Lisbon to the municipality of Almara. It is built on the Tagus River. It is the longest suspension bridge in Europe. What's amazing about this bridge is that it's a copy of the bridge from my favorite city, built by the same builders. Guess where? San Francisco. The Golden Gate Bridge. This is such a beautiful bridge and this was copied over in Lisbon, Portugal. So you've got the same exact bridge in Lisbon as well. Over there, it connects San Francisco with Oakland. The Palace of Ajuda is a neoclassical monument in the civil parish of Ajuda in the city of Lisbon. A monument of King Carlos I is placed in front of the main gate of Ajuda Palace. Guys, this is the Monastery of Geronimus. It's the most impressive symbol of Portugal's power and wealth during the Age of Discovery. Vasco da Gama's tomb was placed inside the entrance. There are some really 
important artifacts. I guess something related to Vasco da Gama and then also related to literature and some other stuff. And there are some really nice stuff over there. I think lots of people will get up here. Now going downhill towards the ocean. This is a monument. This is called Padro dos Descobrimentos. That is most famous and represents this area and times during the age of discovery. It is a monument on the northern bank of the Tagus River. I'm passing through some colorful underpass and it's really majestic. The Estrella Basilica or the Royal Basilica and Convent of the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus is a minor basilica and ancient Carmelite convent in Lisbon. So now we're going to show you the statue and this is the statue of the person who arrived in Rio the very first time. That's what they said. So this is one of the most famous shopping malls, Amudeta's shopping center. It is a meeting point for upper middle class and the upper classes, always demanding quality and it's attentive to the latest fashion trends. So I am here at this really beautiful park, Park Eduardo 7. And this park is shown in a lot of pictures. This is where my hop on hop off bus dropped me over there. And then there is a nice uh, square. And then behind me, this is like a maze. And then there's uh, you know, some towers over there. Ocean is on that side. I'm here at this really beautiful monument. You can see these pillars behind me and then beautiful structure. That's the palace. Oh, this is actually an important spot. So I think I should go there. Okay, let's go check it out. It has some really nice like blue murals. Woohoo. Holding an owl on a globe. Wow. Cruzeiro do Sul. This is like all the angels coming for rescuing these ships so that they can make it all the way to Atlantic. Nice. Beautiful. Look at that. Those stars, those angels, and these are the ships. Yeah. Just walking around near the Independence Monument. So there used to be water inside this fountain. They used to come from right here. And then it used to go all the way over there. Now, last but not least, I'm walking towards the statue in the Pombal Square. Oh, look. So this is also a ship. Portugal is all about the ship. And then people working really hard, like rowing the ship. I know that at the bottom deck, there could be slaves, you know, just rowing it. So yeah, so I'm with this red bus tour. As you can see, there are the smaller buses. There's these big buses. And I just want to find the next bus that can take me back. So we've been waiting here for a little bit. And uh, there's a green line and then there's a red yeah. line. We're going to take the red line so that I can get home and then see what the next stop is. All right. And then we sit this way. Power Square. And in the 18th century, this was a very important square. It was designed by Shadow de Castro. 
At the end of the day, I felt great having visited so many parts of this beautiful and unique city. Although it's not for everyone, but hop on hop off can be a good experience because it can provide the tourist with a flexible option for sightseeing all the places in one go. If you're a walking fan like me, then join me next time as I take a walk to so many more town squares and monuments. The most fun activity was this famous castle, Sao Jorge Castle. It had some amazing panoramic views and it was just majestic. I loved the hike over there. I love Lisbon.